just moments away from tip-off. The home opener for the Flagler College Saints. And they'll face off against the Tigers of Savannah State. Starting lineups are about to be read off. We'll do it for you here on the broadcast. Welcome inside Flagler Gymnasium. I'm Stephen Carey. We'll begin with the visitors, the Savannah State Tigers, who have a 1-0 record. They're in gray uniforms. A.J. Plain, Tay Cobb, Larson Ashford, Elite Bowles, and Elevan Bowles will be the starters for Savannah State. So as the Savannah State Tigers get ready for their team to take the court, it's time for the home team for the first time in 2022. The Flagler College Saints are back in the ancient city. It'll begin with Omar Figueroa. Spencer Bain. Jalen Lemons, Kyle Young, and Joshua Williams will be the starters for the Saints. Fans and attendants got to watch the women's game before dropping a game to Florida Tech. Now they get a chance to see the men take on Savannah State. Let's give a brief recap of the Flagler men's season thus far. They open the season with two losses. First at Florida Southern. The second versus Northwest Missouri State. Both of those games were part of the Small College Basketball Hall of Fame Classic. The next two games, a bit of a winning streak. A win versus Southern Wesleyan and a win at Anderson. 110 points for the Flagler College Saints. That brought them to 500. Then finally their last two games, a loss at Embry-Riddle, and then a win at Spring Hill. That brings us to tonight. Tuesday evening, Flagler College in white, Savannah State in gray. Just about to start this home opener, and this crowd is ready. They're alive. Midweek basketball. Evening matchup. Flagler looking to get back above 500. The Saints take the floor. Just about ready for tip. Kyle Young. We'll meet at center court with Larson Ashford. Home opener begins now. Tip is won by Savannah State. Elevin Bowles gives it up. A.J. Plain now working it inside to Ashford. Passes too high and out of bounds. Flagler takes over. Wasted possession for Savannah State, who's 1-0 on the season. First look at the Saints offense. Bain drive, spins off, dishes one inside. Back to back, errant passes to get through out of bounds. So both opening possessions wasted by both teams. Now Savannah State gets a chance to redeem themselves. AJ Plain working it around the perimeter. Fed inside to Ashford. A lot of contact inside. Tay Cobb feeds it. Ashford kicks it out. Three ball. Too short. Rebound gobbled up by Kyle Young. Pushed quickly up the floor. Spencer Bain, a lot of pressure. Working off the screen is Jalen Lemons. It's kicked by A.J. Plain. Talking about Jalen Lemons. He has had one heck of a career at Flagler. 
14.1 points average, 17 and a half this season, gets just under 35 minutes a game, and with numbers like that, it's not shocking as to why. Lemons, the pure point guard. Young looking inside. Fiddler with the ball. Young can't get the finger roll to go. Savannah State pushing transition. A.J. Plain with his left hand. And quite a layup. He flips it up and in with his right. Not a big window to finish that one, but Savannah State opens the scoring. Young working the baseline. Draw some contact, and that's a charge. It's going the other way. Six foot nine, 240. He used all of that in that charge. Elvin Bowles will inbound the basketball. A.J. Plain. Sizing up Jalen Lemons. Feed inside. It's picked off. Spencer Bain pushing the floor. Lemons slips, and he's out of bounds. Flagler hasn't capitalized at all in the opening two minutes of the game. Slow start for the Saints. Two to nothing your score. 18 minutes and 17 seconds left to go. Plain gets some space. Tay Cobb, mid-range. Rims out. Young yet another rebound. Pushing it up the floor is Malik Bryant. Bain thought about it. Instead, thought better to pull it out. Fiddler, three ball. Got it. Right back down the floor, and an answer. A.J. Plain. From Plain to Bain. Now Bryant, and it's Lemons from deep. He connects. Can feel the energy of this Flagler offense. They're starting to get it going. Plain directing traffic. Now it's Ashford. Working against Young. Two very big bodies. Elevin Bowles kicks it out. Driving. There's a kick ball. Falling on its bean. Out to Bryant. Bryant's got his head up. Fiddler. Now back to Bryant. Young drives. A lot of contact. Instead gives it up to Spencer Bain. 17 seconds on the shot clock. Young at the top of the key, looking for Fiddler. Good cut inside, right hand finish! Savannah State has not been able to stop Flagler inside, and Young collects another rebound. Bryant moving it up the floor, gives it up to Fiddler. Three ball, no good, tipped away by Lemons. Offensive rebound for Flagler. Young from deep. Another offensive rebound. Fiddler's there. They decide to slow it down. Bain for three. And Flagler has it. Second, third chance opportunities, and the Saints lead by seven. Feet inside, Ashford working the block. And Plain stepped out of bounds. Timeout is called. Flagler, a burst of energy. 11 to four year score with just over 15 minutes left to play. Flagler fans, if you want to support all Flagler athletic teams, join the Saints Club. Visit www.flaglerathletics.com and click on the Saints Club link for details. Flagler's basketball team is brought to you by Applebee's. Eating good in the neighborhood. 
Academy Bus, we know the way. 80 Davis Construction, builders, developers, and contractors. The Bailey Group, no matter where you want to go, we'll help you get there. Ameris Bank, savings for the unexpected or expected. Finally, Atlantic Dodge, proud supporter of Flagler College Athletics. Quite the meeting between the Savannah State Tigers and the Flagler College Saints. Flagler being led by their head coach, Blake Selland. Savannah State led by Horace Brodnax. There's going to be some substitutions for Savannah State. Number 55, Javante Landy checks in the game, and Zion Davis does as well. Flagler keeps the same personnel. Bain with the basketball. Lemons clearing out some space. Rolls off some pressure. Bain, three. Too much. Elite Bowles. Now to Javante Landy. Inside to number 24. That's Andrew Okorodudu. He misses. Malik Bowles. Fires up a shot. It bounces off the rim. Okorodudu. Layup's no good. Bain with a rebound. Pushing up the floor. Bryant's got some space. Strauss contact. Kisses it off the glass and in. Cora Dudu against Young. Stripped. Taken away by Lemons. He spins off pressure. Bryant. Three ball attempts no good. Stepping out of bounds is Chase Fiddler. Flagler will make their first substitutions of the game. Omar Figueroa enters the game. As well as Tyler Collier. Young gets a break. Collier out of Fayetteville, Pennsylvania. Figueroa out of Carolina, Puerto Rico. Landy at the top of the key. Elite Bulls gives it up to Okoro Dudu. Three ball no good. First rebound by Collier. Lemons working it up the floor. Being guarded by Landy and there's some contact. Foul is called. First foul for the Savannah State Tigers. Fiddler will inbound the basketball. Lemons will take it. It's a high ball screen. Bryant working with his left across the perimeter. Figueroa with a hand in his face. Drop it down to the baseline. Bryant driving. Reverse layup up and in. Malik Bryant is having one heck of a game. Plain puts one up. Too much. Gets his own rebound and puts it in. Flagler is working the transition game. Trying to go fast. High tempo offense. Bryant being guarded by Chance Wilson. Collier inside. Puts it up and puts it in. Flagler extends their lead to 11. Landy to play, now inside to Okoro Dudu. Collier gets some contact, poor attempt. It's corralled by Flagler. Lemons looking up. There's Fiddler. Now Collier sets a screen. Fiddler wanted the deep three, instead pulls it back. Miscommunication there between Collier and Bryant. Fake to cut inside, stayed to the outside, pass didn't. Goes out of bounds, and Savannah State gets the ball back, down by 11. Landy giving it up to Zion Davis, 4-3, and he cashes it. First time we're seeing Flagler slow down the basketball. 
Instead, Bryant tries to go inside. Figueroa has no room. He gets trapped, and it was last touched by Savannah State. Fortunate break for the Flagler College Saints. Up by eight points with 12 and a half left to go in the first half. Lemons working against Landy. Floater. Yes. Playing to Koro Dudu. And they're going to call a moving screen. Flagler playing their first game at home this season, and certainly the crowd has energized them to 19 points as compared to Savannah State's nine. And again, some poor off-ball play by both teams. Flagler gives it up, another turnover. See Bain check back into the game. Savannah State looking to get back into the game, down by 10 points. Chance Wilson spins off some pressure, and he steps out of bounds. Bit of confusion on the court here. Not sure if it was not a bounce call or timeout being called by the Savannah State Tigers. But in any event, it's important to remind you, Flagler College basketball is brought to you by Birchall & Co. Find your home today. Carmelos delivering old world quality. Caravas, so close you can taste it. South State Bank, welcome to Banking Forward. And Chick-fil-A, eat more chicken. Flagler appears to have dominated the time of possession almost halfway through the first half. Savannah State looking for their second win of the game, excuse me, second win of the season, I should say. Flagler looking for their fourth to get above 500. They're 3-3 three and three entering this game. Personnel on the court for Savannah State, plain inbounding. Gives it up to Javante Landy. Chance Wilson now back to Landy. Playing for three. Good release, even better finish. AJ Plain, that's already nine points for him after that three ball. Tigers have brought it within seven. Collier, good pick. Clearing out some space. Deep three. And it's another one. Another one for Chase Fiddler. He's been fantastic beyond the arc. Ashford inside, getting the pass. Collier's big body. Stops him on the layup attempt. Fiddler's pushing the tempo for the Saints. Collier versus Ashford. Good pass, out to Figueroa, ball fake, jumper. Got it. Flagler back up to a 12 point lead. Wilson finding a lane inside. Layup wedges out. Passes Aaron, plane inside. A lot of contact, no foul call, three ball is short. And there is a foul underneath by Chance Wilson. Woo! 
Checking back into the game for Flagler is Kyle Young. He's been so influential in terms of rebounding the basketball and those high ball screens. Cameron Edmonds is in the game for Savannah State. Bain working the sideline. Gives it up down low to Young. Spins away to his right hand. Off the glass and in. Kyle Young checks in and makes his presence known immediately. Plain to Ashford. And talk about a charge right there. Figueroa sold it. Got his feet planted. And that big body of Plain versus Figueroa. Tough to get calls like that. Flagler is out playing Savannah State right now on both ends of the floor. Plain will get a rest, a much deserved rest. Elevan Bowles back in for Savannah State. Bain with some nifty handles, and right as I say it, he loses it. Savannah State possession. Flagler College has some pretty prestigious scores in terms of the national rankings. I'll get to that in a moment. Savannah State, good ball movement. Shot is short, out of the hands of the leak bowls. Bain, another mishandled basketball. Young there to help him out. Lemons driving. Figueroa, 4-3. Back and forth we go. Take off. Now it's Edmonds. Back to Bowles. Working that near side towards the bench. And another foul inside by Savannah State. Last time the foul was drawn by Figueroa, this time by Lemons. So we were talking about prestigious scores for Flagler College. Flagler has the number 7, 8, and 24 scores in the country at the Division II level. That's Jalen Lemons, Malik Bryant, and Kyle Young. They are 1, 2, and 3 in the rankings for the Peach Belt Conference. Pass inside, Figueroa is there, left-handed in. This offense is firing on all cylinders right now. Young versus Ashford. Two big bodies colliding in the paint. Three ball by Cobb. Off the rim. Bank shot attempt is a miss by Edmonds. Lemons pushing the pace. Spain finds some room and the pass goes out of bounds. Boom Reeves has entered the game for Flagler. Wearing the number 14 jersey. Fiddler back in the game as well. It's been interesting to see how the Saints have scored their points. It's been somewhat even in terms of the three ball inside. The mid-range jumper, which some would say is an art that's dying in the game of basketball. But the Saints looking like one heck of a basketball team today. Cora Dudu back in the game. Three ball, missed, rebounded by Young. Fiddler looking up the floor. Lemons. He's been in the game virtually the whole time. Boom, for three. He misses. Give and go, doesn't work. Reeves is there. Lemons is pushing. He draws the foul. Looks like a timeout's going to be called by Savannah State. Folks, Flagler College basketball is brought to you by Pizzali's Chianti Room for the full Italian food connoisseur. 
Capital Financial Strategies, a full-service financial company serving North Florida and South Georgia. Coldwell Banker Premier Realty, fulfilling the dream of home since 1906. Evans Automotive, quality work at a fair price. And Fish Bites, set the hook. So far, Flagler has set the hook in terms of the game plan they've wanted to enact. Active shooting, aggressive on the defensive side of the basketball. Chase Fiddler leads the way for Flagler with eight points in terms of the personnel on the floor. 28-12, your score with seven and a half left to play in the first half. A very quick first half, might I add. The Saints have come home to a very excited crowd. They love basketball here in the ancient city. They love their Flagler College Saints and their Flagler College Athletics. So the Saints in white, ready to inbound the ball on their own side of the court. Lemons looking for someone to feed. It's Young. Spins away. Ball fake. Inside and one. Kyle Young's frame is just so hard to guard. And when you can move laterally as well as he can, it's a recipe for disaster for opposing defenses. Coming into today's game, he's at 68% this season from the free throw line. It just got better, 31-12. Playing back in the game. Savannah State looking for any type of answer. And they won't get one on this possession. Lemons up the floor. Young going inside, contact. Tip back up and in. Boom Reeves was there to clean up the garbage. Boom 33-12. And Young another rebound. He's going to find himself at a double-double quicker than he can imagine. Young, mid-range. Yes. And Savannah State has seen enough. They've got to call timeout again. Flagler's lead at 23 points. I have to remind you of the Flagler College sponsors. Five Star Pizza. Bigger, better, faster. Flagler Hospital. Excellence as a way of life. Hero of Florida, your partner for the complete equipment lifestyle. Hybrid design, advertising, graphic design, marketing. And Jersey Mike subs, a sub above. Haven't eaten dinner yet, maybe that's where I'll stop. Go get myself a nice Jersey Mike sub. Hopefully after a Flagler College victory to get them above 500. Right now it seems like at least one of those possibilities will come true. Savannah State down by 23 points. They're hoping that timeout will help them get some points. Koro Dudu gives it up to Plain. Cobb inside, it gets away. Lemons will slow it down. Let his personnel move up the floor. High screen set by Young. Instead, it's given up. He spins away, goes inside, dishes it. And they're going to call him for a charge. Couldn't stop his feet. That's his second foul, and Collier's going to check in. Collier, more of a defensive-minded player. Offensively, we can talk about his statistics. Just under six points a game on average. Very stout frame. He'll guard a Coro Dudu. Cordudu looking for cutters. Davis isn't there, but Plain is. Working inside in the paint. No good. Great defense by Collier. 
Lemons full head of steam. Deep three ball. Fiddler off the mark. Collier's there for the rebound. Reverse layup is not going to be awarded. Traveling violation. Couldn't get his feet set. Time ticket away in this first half. Flagler leading by a whopping 23 points in front of their home crowd. Plain versus Figueroa. Malik Bowles gives it up to Tay Cobb. Now a Korodudu. Bowles swatted away by Fiddler. Numbers for Flagler. Figueroa drops it in. High tempo, high caliber offense. Flagler's identity is being shown tonight. Cobb hesitates. Jumper. Off balance, didn't go. Lemons. Now to Malik Bryant. Working the perimeter. Now the baseline. Gets inside, kicks it out. Fiddler, corner three. Got it! Fiddler with 11 points. Plain trying to answer. It's no good. Four Tigers awaiting substitution. Figueroa, contested three, puts it up. And Fiddler's there for the rebound, but called for the foul. Called out a wholesale. Different personnel on the court for the Tigers trying to get anything started. Down by 28 points. Ashford now gives it up. Three ball. Good response there by Warner Davis. Fiddler has the hot hand. He's cutting inside. Lemons, deep three. Answers right back. Another three. We're trading threes here in the ancient city. Let's see what Flagler does to respond. 43-18. Bryant now wants to go and he loses the handle. Moving it up the floor is Edmonds, and with his right hand he finishes off the glass. Still a 23 point lead for Flagler. Spencer Bain, lots of aggression showing off the nifty moves. Collier working against Ashford. Bain, top of the key, straight away. No doubt about it. Lots of contact. Chance Wilson with the basketball. Savannah State down by 26 points with under three minutes to go in the first half. Warner Davis give it up to Ashford. Long two, no good. Rebounded by Fiddler. See what they decide to do here. Collier wants the contact. Fiddler looking for a lane. Lemons. Three, rims out. Fiddler behind the back, he's got some room. Instead he'll pull it out. Bain hesitates the three, Lemons won't. Lots of attempts from three-point land in the waning minutes of the first half. And here's another. Davis's attempt is off the mark. Fiddler, long three. And for the first time in what feels like forever, it's no good. Defense! 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 
it seems like Savannah State has played right into what Flagler wanted them to do. Savannah State so far this season, 6 for 19 from 3 entering today's game. That's 31%. Not terrible, but if you get into a high-scoring game, it's going to be very tough to come back if you don't have three-point shooters that can shoot the lights out of the basketball. But guys like Fiddler and Lemons can't. Fans, we're back to the advertisement side of today's broadcast. Flagler College Basketball is brought to you by Mowry Law Firm, proud supporter of Flagler Athletics. The Noah Bailey Group, proud sponsor of Flagler College Athletics. The Northeast Florida Regional Airport, the smart choice for all of your air travel needs. 123 Burger House, grilling and chilling. And the Pig Stork, the, the wellness brand for women. Stephen Carey here on the call. My brother Chris Carey will take over duties in the second half. Sure to be a thriller here. The home opener for the Flagler College Saints. Very different game than what we saw in the opener with the Flagler College women. The Saints women were behind. Found a way to bring the game close to end the first half. I don't see that being a super likely possibility. Players on the floor for the Saints. Boom Reeves, Collier, Bryant, Figueroa, and Fiddler. And after some confusion, they will award the basketball to Savannah State. Maybe Flagler tried to pull a fast one. Allie Keyes is in the game. The foul is called against Flagler. Fouls on number two, Chase Fiddler. Stepping up. Ella Van Bowles will shoot a one and one. Ella Van Bowles. He's out of Savannah, Georgia. Gordon State College prior to coming to Savannah State. Collier there with the rebound. It gets knocked away, but Figueroa will collect. Flyler can run some time off this clock. Up by 26 points. Figueroa loses the handle, finds a way to get it back. Collier looking for cutters. Fiddler not a lot of room. Eight seconds left on the shot clock. Figueroa slashing his way inside, and he can't get it to go. Nifty moves in the paint. Doesn't get awarded with anything. Cameron Edmonds, now to Chance Wilson. Fadeaway jumper. Pretty shot by 15. Flagler can hold for the final shot. That seems to be the plan. Figueroa will pull it up, being guarded by Edmonds. It's number one versus number one. 24 points separate these two teams in the first half. High ball screen, Collier moving his way inside. Reeves to Bryant, to Figueroa for three, and it's off the rim. Three ball was put up. It's no good. One heck of an attempt by Boom Reeves. But one heck of a half by the Flagler College Saints in their home opener. 24-point lead. I guess it's safe to say that whatever Savannah State's plan was coming into this game didn't get executed to perfection. They did not anticipate being down by 24 points in the ancient city. Not too far of a drive down from Savannah, Georgia, but still several things that didn't go according to plan. Flagler shot the lights out of the basketball on the inside. Offensive rebounds, second chance opportunities for the Saints, and the defensive rebounds. Spearheaded by Young. It's great to see Flagler so aggressive. But 15-minute break 
awaits us before the start of the second half. Chris Carey will take over the call after this. It's been a fun one. Let's see if Flagler can pull it out in their home opener.
just about ready to go for second half action here at the Flagler Gymnasium where the Saints lead by 24 points. It's 46 to 22. Flagler leads Savannah State University by those 24 points. It was an offensive spread, an offensive explosion that was started by Chase Fiddler and company. The Flagler Saints are looking good. A lot more than a 3-3 three and three team right now, that's for sure. And the statistics are here to prove it. At half, Flagler was 56% from the field as compared to Savannah State's 28%. Comparatively speaking, on the defensive side too, it got much better for Flagler. 26 rebounds, 20 of them defensively. And then the Tigers could only muster 13 and 9 defensive rebounds. Everything Flagler has done, cut it in half. And those are the stats for Savannah State. So a 24-point difference in this game. And the Saints are having a booming homecoming here for their home opener of the 2022-2023 season. And you look back at the way the scores played out. A 16-point loss to Florida Southern, another loss to Northwest Missouri State, and then finally getting their first two wins against Southern Wesleyan and Anderson University. A loss at Embry-Riddle and then a win at Spring Hill by five points brings us here to Savannah State or against Savannah State. And the very next game they play is in Savannah on December 1st. But they're not even concerned with that at all. They're enjoying the lead that they have now. But this Savannah State squad can always put together good games. They have one win and no losses. Men on the floor for the Tigers is Plain Cobb Bowles. Bowles and Ashford. For the Saints, it'll be Fiddler, Bain, Bryant, Young. And down in the corner is Jalen Lemons. Fiddler will inbound and we're ready to go. Second half basketball. Chris Carey with you on the call as Bain will take it up the floor. Now the pass inside to Bryant was more of a facilitator in the first half. Now looking to get some points. Shrugging off a defender. Now out to Lemons. He's driving with his right. Reverse layup, and he will get it to go. So Jalen Lemons getting started early for Flagler. Now 48-22. to And the Saints, as mentioned before, have spread around their offense. Now Lemons with 10 points. Leading scorer this game so far has been Fiddler wearing the number two uniform. Now quickly Bowles will pass it out and then kick out to the corner and Plain has the ball now. Step back, gives it up back to Bowles. Now Cobb working the baseline. Bryant fouls him right by the Flagler F in the paint. Third foul on Bryant in his short time on the court. Inbound to Cobb, no good. Intercepted going the other way. Lemons driving himself, looking for help. Now Fiddler, pump fakes a shot, kick it out to the corner. Here's Bryant, and he makes up for the foul with a three. 51 to 22, and Bryant makes himself known here in the second half early. Cobb quickly inside to Ashford, guarded by Young, the two big men. Good spin move by Plain and finishes with two hands off of the glass. Savannah State has plenty of athletes, but they need to put together scores on scores on scores and turnovers like that if they want to get back into this game. Quickly up the floor to Cobb, and it's intercepted. The other way, another interception. This time, Elik Bowles with one hand turns it the other way for the Tigers. They're going to go to the other bowls, the top of the key. He's doubled now. And Plain in the corner. And Cobb stepped out of bounds. That's the second time for Savannah State. One of their players has stepped out of bounds in a crucial situation. And Flagler will get the basketball back. But not before a few check-ins for the Tigers. Cameron Edmonds will come back into the game. And so... Will another player. Young has the ball. He spins off pressure. Playing it inside to Bryant. 
Too hot to handle for anyone. It'll stay Flagler's ball. Flagler has forced three turnovers already in the second half. Defense has been stout. They've been working together. Young gets the ball at the baseline. And he travels. Traveling violations have been a commonality in this game from start to now the third quarter. Just about two minutes in and already immediate action here at the Flagler Gymnasium. Edmonds now, Davis in the corner to Bowles. Looking for Ashford instead will have to recycle it back up top to his brother. Lost the handle but Ashford was there to pick it up. Ashford a chance, pass inside, and it is hit out of bounds by Jalen Lemons. By third quarter, of course, I mean second half. Floated shot, offensive rebound. Bowles gets it, gives it to Edmonds. Straight back to number 32, and an awkward shot. Can't get it to go. It seems like they have three or four point guards cycling through this game, and they all want to go fast. Now Bryant, triple team. Bain, top of the key. And that's way left. Seems like Savannah State is taking a page out of Flagler's book here. Lots of quick passing and movement as Davis misses off the mark. Offensive rebound blocked by Fiddler. And Davis finally gets it. Now Elik Bowles to Davis. Nearly stolen by Young. Took a step too far and it ended up back in the hands of number 30. Triple drive. Another shot from an angle. And this time Elik Bowles will get it to fall. Now 51-26. Young lost the handle there, but was able to get the ball back. Figueroa waiting to be subbed in. Lemons in the corner to Bryant. Three ball off the front iron. Seems to be running through the Bulls brothers right now. They're playing on the opposite wings. Pass inside, and Ashford with his right hand. Young collapsed the space. Bryant, one-on-one. -on -one. Spin, turn, underneath with the left hand, and somehow he made it happen. Acrobatic act by Malik Bryant, and now it's 53-26. Bain closely guarding the point guard. Now the Bulls brothers right next to each other. This time Elevan Bulls will have it. And Savannah State will lose it, forcing a substitution. A timeout will be called on the floor. Flagler maintaining pressure, but the offense is there as well as it has been all game long. Flagler College would like to thank its athletic sponsors, Pink Stork, the wellness brand for women, PIP Printing, Achieve Your Marketing Goal, Holmes and Brackle Business Interiors, Make Space for More, Raise Tire and Service for all your heavy duty and commercial vehicle needs, and Salt Life, Eat, Drink, and Be Salty. Salt Life may be salty, but it's all been sweet for the Saints who have double the amount of points of the Tigers in their homecoming. Blake Sellen coaching up his team on the other side. Horace Brodnax trying to figure out a way to get to this Flagler team as they lead by 27 points. At the half, they had a 24-point lead. They're tacking on more and more, and it seems like even their bench players right now understand the assignment and are executing and then some. Figueroa will check in. He may well be the floor general along with Jalen Lemons. The rest of the personnel stays the same. 
Flagler's going to have the basketball with 15 minutes and 25 seconds in the second half. It will be Lemons to work it up the floor. It hasn't mattered much who has brought out the ball. As they're shooting, Figueroa now to Fiddler, driving, reverse layup, and a beauty. Righty reverse layup, and Fiddler, whether it was shooting from the top of the key or the mid-ranger driving in, he's had everything going from his bag of tricks here tonight. Now Bowles, contested shot, mid-range, rebounded by Okoro Dudu. He gets it himself again, but for the third time, Savannah State steps out of bounds and turns the ball over. Collier checks in, now the big man. He and Okoro Dudu will be underneath. Lemons trapped up top, Figueroa there moving off the ball as well. It's Fiddler and Figueroa working at the top. Collier looking for the ball, Fiddler gives it to him. Now Bryant there. They're playing a trap offense up at the top, collapsing on anything. Trap defense, excuse me. Fiddler to Figueroa, deep three ball. And that's off the iron, rebounded by Collier. That'll do just fine. Finishes it off with two. Lost the handle, now Bryant. On his horse, draws the foul with two hands. The chaser was Zion Davis. The foul will belong to him. Bryant was in the act of shooting, so he will have two shots. Zion Davis making his way to the foul line for the Saints. It's number 24, Malik Bryant, and he'll shoot two. Blake Sellen coaching up his three-star players of the game so far in Fiddler, Lemons, and Figueroa about what they need to do during the backcourt assignments. Landy checked into the game as well as Keys. Back in as well as Cobb. Keys out to Plain. He's back in as well. Three-point shot. Off the front of the rim, it won't go. Lots of contested shots for Savannah State. Good defense by Flagler to close it out. And that may be the difference. Forcing a lot of bad shots for Savannah State. Now Bryant driving through two and somehow finding a way to score. Now 59-26. The athleticism is on full display here in St. Augustine. And now drawing an offensive foul. It's going the other way. Bryant, who just made a miraculous finish off the glass, will be substituted in for Boom Reeves. Got a couple of points. An immediate off-the-bench threat. And he has the ball now. He's directing traffic up against Cobb. Now Collier up at the top. Pretty good ball handler for his size. This time Plain strips it away. Nearly went behind the back, but Fiddler said no sir and tapped it out of bounds. 59-26. Fiddler still leads all scorers with 13 points. Does, however, have two fouls. Landy and Figueroa, now Cobb. They're going to play it inside to Keys, up against Collier. Nice little hook shot there. He dumps it in. They're so confident, even Collier's bringing out the ball at this point. Reeves driving towards the baseline got stripped away from him Cobb taking it all the way himself a little razzle dazzle off the backboard 
speaks volumes on the athleticism of Savannah State, but still struggling to keep up with the high tempo offense that Stefan was talking about in the first half. Collier on the ball, now Figueroa gets the double, Collier there. He's gonna have to back it out. Nearly a foul on the floor and they say he stepped out of bounds. So there's gonna be a pause in the action. Believe there was a timeout there called by Flagler. It's important to note that we have a lot of great sponsors here for Flagler Athletics. St. Augustine Inn is one of them, the official hotel of Flagler College Athletics. Sunny's Barbecue, local pit master since 68. We don't just serve barbecue, we are barbecue. The Spartan Orthopedic Institute, sports medicine and robotic surgery. St. Augustine Marina, for all your boating and fishing needs, as well as the St. Augustine record, covering the ancient city and St. John's County since 1894. And I'm assuming with the way this game's going right now, a 29-point advantage for Flagler. They're going to have a lot to write about tomorrow. But you still have about 12 minutes of game left, and transition offense will be important for Savannah State. Keeping yourselves honest on defense will be important for Flagler, and not forcing errors like turnovers. Portion of Flagler's band, as well as their fantastic cheerleading squad, led by Shelby and Alexis King, have been engaged all night long, not just for the men's team, but for the women's team, who suffered a loss against Florida Tech. Flagler has scored 13 points in this half. Savannah State right there with them with eight. Plains got it. Now to Zion Davis. Cobb now. Fiddler's giving him a little bit of space, moving off the screen. Lost the handle of the ball, but it was tipped out by Bain, and now Davis will drive himself. Awkward right-handed layup. It'll get it to go. Had a few dominant hand, opposite side, scoop and scores. Right there, you saw Zion Davis do it himself. Fiddler against Cobb, good screen by Collier. And the pass is in and out of the hands of Lemons. So some compression defense here from Savannah State. The ball going out of bounds will allow for Malik Bryant to re-enter the game. Short rest for him, as well as Young. Plain thought about driving the baseline. Instead, Keyes is at the top. Now Plain again. Crossover move. Jumper off the backboard. And it missed off the rim. Figueroa is able to sequester the ball. Now the transition is quick. Brian again going all the way, drawing the foul. But he will not get the end one. Instead, two shots are awaiting number 24. Just under 11 minutes, 59 to 32. He'll shoot two. Bain will sit back to rebound, but basically they are vacating all the way to the backcourt to avoid any transition. Bryant will make the first. It's Young. Lemons and Figueroa waiting in the backcourt with Bain in between Davis and Keyes. Bryant's second shot flushed down 61 32. Ball movement has been a lot better for both teams in this second half. Landy back into the game. 
McLean trying to work himself back to Landy. Kicked out into the corner. Three ball by Davis. No good. And Bryant quickly gets the ball, pushing the transition again. Bounce pass. Reverse layup with the left hand. And a great finish by Omar Figueroa. This is unselfish basketball at its finest here in the ancient city. Pull up jumper and Cobb got it to go. Bain to Young, spin move with his two hands and it is off the back of the rim. Pushing tempo, now Landy the other way and Young went up for a rejection. The trailer could not put down the slam. Instead, it's a foul. Don't know if it was in the act of shooting. Looks like Keys is going ahead to the line. Stepping to the foul line for the Tigers is number 34, Ali Keys. Ali Keys, 6'8", 195 pounds, out of Savannah, Georgia. Transfer from NAIA School Point University in the state. Good secondary option as the big man. Bowles enters the game. And so does Warner Davis. That shot misses, rebounded by Bryant. 63-34, under 10 minutes left to play in the game. Bryant to the inside to Young. He's looking for Bain. They couldn't find him and he finishes underneath. Spencer Bain elusive and he caught Savannah State sleeping. 31 point advantage for Flagler. The next shot misses for Savannah State and Bain looking to go right back to work. Lemons, pump fakes, lost it. Now it's Bowles. He's got a trailer poked away by Bain. Good defense in transition, but a foul is drawn by Elik Bowles. Fouls on number three, Spencer Bain. Bain has eight points to his game. For the Tigers is number 30. But quietly, Malik Bryant has started to put together a great offensive game. 13 points in very quick succession. He was very quiet in the first half, and the second half has exploded. However, he does have three fouls, wants to stay out of foul trouble. If he gets to five, he will foul out. Don't think that's going to stop him from playing aggressive basketball. Next shot will go for Bowles. Bryant to inbound, gives it to Lemons instead of Figueroa. Play it inside to Young. A little bit of off ball movement. Corner three from Figueroa will get down. Omar Figueroa. Moving to space and capitalizing, and now Young gets the steal, an open floor. Will he go up? It is blocked by Keyes. Young thought he had a show-stopping dunk. Instead, Ali Keyes had other plans. There's an and one. Figueroa tried to sell a charge. Instead, it's a blocking foul, and Bowles will return to the line very quickly. And Young a little laboring on his left leg. That'll bring Collier to the floor. 68-38, 30-point separation between the Flagler Saints and Savannah State. Where Flagler leads in their home opener of the 2022 season. Bowles cashes in. Now the lead is less than 30 for the Saints. 
Lemons takes it up the floor. He's up against Lemons, or Edmonds, excuse me. Played inside to Collier. They like getting the big man involved. Because then you can allow for outlet passes, but not there. A little shimmy shake and gets the friendly roll. Sneaky athleticism from the big men for both teams. But so far, Collier and Young have combined for a massive contribution offensively. And now Malik Bryant tips a shot. Last touch bowls, and Flagler will have the ball yet again. They have 70 points. We're just under eight minutes left to play as a timeout is called. More sponsors, a stellar Flagler basketball is brought to you by the St. John's Family Funeral Home and Crematory. Services unique as life. Stellar Group, taking solutions further. Sunshine Realty, for all your real estate needs. Taylor and Waldrop, the St. Augustine lawyers backed by experience. The McLeod Firm, Florida personal injury attorneys you can depend on. Sniffin and Spellman, PA, a full-service law firm representing clients statewide. UBS Financial, pursue what matters most for you today, tomorrow, and generations to come. And then Vested Metals, we are a consumer and customer-centric and solution-based metal supplier. 31-point difference here at the Flagler Gymnasium. The fans have been in it all day long. From the first whistle that blew at 5 p.m. for the ladies' game, now the men's. As the band, the cheerleading squad, a couple hundred people very excited about the future of Flagler basketball here in the 2022-2023 campaign. It's been an exciting game start to finish, an explosive game start to finish. And a very unselfish and disciplined Flagler team has showed what could be their best face all season long here at home. Figueroa inbounds to Bain. He loses the handle, slipping on the floor. A little bit of a wet spot. Now Davis has the ball and immediately gives it up to Bryant. The play is blown dead. There's slippages everywhere, and they're going to have to call for someone to dry that up. Don't know if the slippage is constituted for the ball being dead. However it has, and Savannah State will get a chance to inbound it. Savannah State has Bowles, Davis, the other Bowles, Okoro Dudu, and I believe that's Edmonds. It is. For Flagler, you have Bryant, Bain, Collier, Figueroa, and Lemons. Flagler and White, Savannah State in their gray uniforms. And they're still trying to figure out this mess. And they're going to get a second man in on the action here. The entire crew for Flagler Athletics from their entire sports information team to the people that make the games go, like the operations members, make this a state-of-the-art and one-of-a-kind experience. One of America's beautiful, most beautiful cities. Edmonds drives near the baseline. Recycle it back to the top to Bowles. Now Davis, other Bowles down inside to Okoro Dudu. Collier, tight defense, and they're going to have to kick it back out. Short time, now under 10 seconds. Okoro Dudu again, spins off pressure, in and out, and rebounded by Collier. Bain is doubled, has to give it away to Collier, who immediately spins it back to number three. Everybody has contributed for Flagler and Bain looking to get involved. Scoops underneath, couldn't get it to go, and now quickly up the floor. Bowles, left hand, and he will finish. Bowles. 
Tight pressure from Savannah State. 70 to 41 now the score. It's the Flagler College Saints lead by 29. Fiddler waiting to be substituted in. Now Malik Bryant at the top of the key. Switching off a double. He quickly goes to Collier who bodies the man down low and finishes right at the rim. Knocked over Okoro Dudu. That's that big body of Collier. He and Young have so many attributes that will be helpful in Flagler's 2022 season. And a good finish by Warner Davis at the mid-range. Too quick of a cut by Figueroa and the ball goes out of bounds. Young back in looks like when he was laboring on his left leg. It wasn't anything too serious. He's back into the game and so is Fiddler. Timeout on the court. Perfect time to tell you about Flagler's schedule in the next couple of weeks. Of course, they've played a couple of teams already playing Savannah State tonight and winning by a significant margin by 29 points with under six left to go. But then on December 1st, they go to Savannah. 6 p.m., they go to Savannah State. And just two days later, travel down to Winter Park, Florida to take on the Rollins College Tars. They have a interesting schedule. The next four games are on the road. And three of them are against out-of-state opponents, Savannah State, North Georgia, and Young Harris. Lots of travel here in the next couple of weeks for the Saints. Not too worried about it right now, depending on how this game goes. If it ends the way that it looks right now, a lot of teams will be less than excited to see an explosive and hungry Flagler team play in the coming weeks and months. Mentioned before, Young and Fiddler will check back in. Figueroa, Lemons, and Bryant stay in the game. So four of the five Flagler players on the floor have double-digit points. Figueroa, then you have Lemons, Fiddler, and Bryant. Okoro Dudu kicks it out to the corner. Now an awkward shot by Bowles. Can't get it to go, and Fiddler spins off of pressure and is able to maintain possession. Bryant now plays it into Young. He's able to get the ball back. Now double team using his big body. Still some more. And he finishes at the hoop. And there's a technical foul on the floor. Might have been on Young after he finished. It was on Young, and so now a free shot for Bowles. Eliki Bowles misses, in and out. So Savannah State will maintain possession of the basketball. Bringing up the floor is Edmonds. They're not taking any chances with Okoro Dudu. It's double and triple teams, and Young is able to force that shot off the front of the rim. Now up the floor, and Fiddler almost lost the handle there. He's looking for the far side corner, and now Bryant at midcourt, guarded heavily by Bowles. Young going in, right hand, can't get the roll. The trailer couldn't finish with Bryant either. And Elik Bowles. He's been the best player so far for Savannah State. And now Bryant slams it home. In transition, Young got him up the floor. And he had a step or two, and he capitalized on it. 76-45, and now Bryant has 15 points on the game. A lot of play above the rim in the second half, and now Warner Davis gets involved with a three of his own. Bryant pushing tempo again. And now we'll stop it and slow it down. They work their centers into the offense a lot. 
and the vision for Young and Collier has been exceptional. Jab step, ducks over a defender, and Davis is posterized right at the rim. Talk about finishing above the rim. He nearly put Davis in the ground. Okoro Dudu can't get it to go, and Young, a rebound, and he is energized. Has to be near a double-double now. Eclipsed 10 points now with 11. Another timeout is called on the floor. Under four minutes left to play, and the Saints have a 30-point advantage here in their home opener. So Young has secured his double-double, matching 11s. 11 points, 11 rebounds, but no two points bigger than in his game than that flush dunk over Warner Davis. He nearly had one a couple minutes ago. He was driving at the rim. It was blocked away at the last second. You know he wanted his chance, and he made the best of his opportunity. Looks like Chance Wilson will check in. Wilson in the game. Also looks like Joshua Williams will come in for Flagler. As well as Boom Reeves. Joshua Williams, 5'9", 160 pound freshman from Charlotte, North Carolina and Charlotte Catholic High School. He will inbound, trying to get it to Lemons, who had the double team, but was able to evade. Warner Davis on Lemons, good screen by Collier, passes it inside, and Reeves finishes with an up and under. Accurate passing, great vision, and that's why the Saints have 80 points as well as excellent defense on the other end. Warner Davis, another try for three. And Fiddler rebounds. 80 to 48, under three minutes left. Williams to Fiddler. First chances for the 5'9 point guard from North Carolina. Fiddler nearly had a shot there, but closed out well. Collier up against Ashford. Six seconds remaining. Off balance. He stops. And he finishes over the top with two seconds left. Clock continues to wind down. We are under two minutes. And an air ball underneath gets out of bounds. And Williams wisely boxes out Davis to get the ball back. Bain checks back in. Checking out was Lemons. That might be the last we see of him this game. But very good contributions. A steady 10 points. Great facilitator. Some dynamic plays. Now number three will move it up the floor against Edmonds. Collier has the ball as well. Spins off pressure and now Reeves. Back to Collier. Spin move. Off balance and it nearly went in. And the finish by Boom Reeves. Well, folks, you can see why his name is Boom Reeves. He laid the boom over two defenders. And this is getting out of hand. Payne had the isolation, now kicked out. Williams... He gets his first points, and everybody's involved in the party. Flagler is up off of their bench as Joshua Williams puts two points to his name. Now 86-48, under one minute left to play. Jab step by Chance Wilson, off-balance shot, and the unrelenting defense continues for the Saints. 
stolen away well. Edmonds will have a routine finish at the hoop. 86-50. Now Fiddler continuing to go up. Now at 30 seconds. Seven seconds separate the game clock and the shot clock. And Williams reached pressure and then fell on the floor. It's a traveling violation. So Savannah State, under 30 seconds to play. They will not have a shot clock. And a 36-point advantage for Flagler. Got to think they're going to want to go fast. Finish out this game strong. But still the pressure coming from Williams. Landy spins off through two defenders, and Collier has the ball. Clock continues to wind under 10. They're going to hold. Final three seconds. And there's your bowl game, folks. Flagler Saints, 86. Savannah State, 50. A 36-point victory, and now Flagler is a game above 500 while issuing Savannah State their first loss of the season. They are now 1-1. One and one. Wow, what a performance. Flagler put the exclamation point on a wonderful day in a basketball doubleheader. The Saints will come back and play Savannah State at Savannah State's home turf, 6 p.m. December 1st. This has been a wonderful game, a 36-point win for the Saints in the beautiful, wonderful ancient city. For our entire crew, for our entire media group here for the Flagler States, for Stephen Carey, who called the first half of this game, I'm Chris Carey saying have a wonderful night, and we will see you soon. Have a happy Thanksgiving.